Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Stardew Valley. It is raining today, I didn't remember that. Fortune teller, please, please I'm begging you, tell me good luck. God bless. Man, I really felt it that last time. It's not gonna rain tomorrow, there's no way. You're kidding! Two days of rain in a row? Oh, that's so good. And a Queen of the Sauce rerun, it's the stir fry because it's all, all we've seen so far. I didn't mean water your pets literally. Well, this ought to be a productive day. Now, please give me some gold quality. I got one. I got one gold star parsnip. Oh, that's a start. We're going to have to buy some more parsnip seeds. Obviously, we're going to have plenty of time to get this going, so that's fine. Also, did all of the quality fertilizer stay? Why? It would normally go away when you pluck your tuber. I guess I it's Wednesday. I'm not going to be able to replace these seeds. Well, I guess I might as well put them in here. Keep that gold star one cuz we're going to need it. Well, what's the plan today? I'm not going to be able to get any money to actually get that new fishing rod. That that really sucks. I keep meaning to do that, but I just can't. I'm going to go ahead Bug steak, 10 bug meat, gives you 45 energy and 30 health. Gross, that's not at all worth it. Bug meat is so much more worth it as bait. I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah, and is if that looks like a lot of bait, don't worry, it's not. Well, I mean, we had really good luck. It's raining, we don't have to wear, waste our energy planting. I feel like we should just go spelunking once more. We can bring those field snacks that we made yesterday and have a good time. I don't think there's really anything else to do because until we get money, we're kind of locked out of everything. And until we find a leak, I swear, that's going to stop us from doing anything at this rate. I'll take a roundabout way to the mines just to see if I can find anything. Worms. Wow. Wow. Worms, that's my axe. Yo, look at that funky little dude. That's a treasure. Treasure, believe it or not. Is, hey, is today Jas's birthday? Another one. Oh yeah, you do find more worms in the rain, by the way. Makes sense for real life. Was it today that was Jas's birthday or was it a different day? Oh no, it's Vincent's. Oh boy, I can't forget that. Well, we know where he'll be. 25 copper ores for inspection. I mean, I gotta do it. Since I failed the last time, I gotta make up for it. That fishing thing is still on. Today would be a good day for fishing, but eh. Ooh, we do need to enter the Adventurer's Guild, which I believe doesn't open until 2 p.m. Now that we've done that. Uh, not that it's too important that we do that soon. Cool. I'm gonna go see Jas, or Vincent rather. Do you think he would like a doll? That would make sense, wouldn't it? I'm gonna get something he'll like. Luckily for us, Vincent really likes Daffy. He's not, oh yeah, he's right here. He was hiding. Happy birthday, dude. Enjoy forged item. Did you wipe your boots off before coming in? Sorry, I just cleaned the floor. Well, listen, I'm a farmer. I want to look for bugs, but mom gets mad when I'm all dirty. It's a tough choice. Sam isn't in bed per se. He's a little bit next to bed. Well, all that's done with. I'm going to go check that out. Buddy, look at that. That's progress. That's what we call progress. Meet you at the mines. Ah, the evasive leak tortures me. Well, we now have a good sword, so that'll be nice to have. Well, nothing to do but to continue. Oh, I should have brought my fishing rod. Whoops. All right, who's ready for a lucky day in the mines? I left the sound in this time just to see how that bodes well. It might be a bit overwhelming, might not. So I want to talk about slimes, because we just saw a star slime. 
these star slimes, I believe they're called special slimes, drop a special item depending on what floor you are. We just got the forest sword, which is an immensely good sword for this early in the game. I believe it does about double damage compared to the sword that we had. And in addition to that, it has increased speed, so it swings faster and it adds one defense to us. Previously, defense on weapons was bugged in 1.4, but since this is 1.5, it actually matters. Anyway, that's about the best item that I could have gotten from a slime here. Each slime level is about 20 floors, so the mines floors 20 to 39 have the same drop table for special slimes. And a lot of the others were clothes that we already have. You can get a glow ring or a magnet ring. We already have a magnet ring. A glow ring would have been nice because it gets dark. But we're coming up real quickly on a new section of the mines. This is the deep dark area that's only floors 31 to 39. Not much different here. There's bats and stone golems. Bats can drop bat wings, which is something we need for bundles in the community center. Stone golems don't really drop much of anything special and they're a really rare enemy as well. They only show up here and they really do blend into the background. We really zoomed through the vines here, but I got a cut because we're going to the Adventurer's Guild. Well, I think that's gonna do it for the mines today. That was an extremely good, I got a forest sword. Y'all y'all don't know how good that is, but that's super rare for this early. That's going to be our best weapon for a long time. Anyway, I left early because I wanted to come into here. Uh, I guess we accomplished something. You're able to buy weapons here. And notice how nothing's really as good as the forest sword yet. It's kind of silly. Well, you know what? The pirate sword is probably comparable. Cutlass is probably a little bit better. But the Forest Sword does have an ex like more speed, so you have faster swings, and it has a little bit of a defense. So it is better than the Cutlass in a way. And you have rings that increase certain stats, which, yeah, you know, who really cares? Uh, monster Eradication Goals. This is important. This is why I keep killing a lot of things, because I'm going to need to finish all this. I'm going to have to kill... A thousand slimes, which sounds daunting, but hey, it can happen. And then this is Gus. Come back when you've got something to so show me, kid. Yeah, so that's what the Adventurer's Guild is all about. It's mostly just for those uh, monster eradication goals. <sighs> I could probably do another five floors, to be honest. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't notice I grabbed that. That's good. You need one of these. You absolutely need one of those. Good. I'm going to put some stuff away and I'm going to keep going. I got four cave carrots. That's really good. That'll be nice for later. I can put that steel sword away now. I'm probably not going to fill up my inventory anyway. Cool. I'm going to see if I can get to 40. All right, for the second little digging section, I want to give a special shout out to the Stardew Valley Wiki because they have a section for Stone Golem and it does list all the things that can drop iron ore, quartz, dwarf scrolls, that's cool. But there's a specific strategy tab in each enemy's area. And for almost all the enemies in the game, the strategy is just swing at them with a sword. It's so funny because they could have just completely not had that in the wiki at all, and it would have been fine. Most enemies are just swing at them with the sword. Anyway, we're just about at floor 40, so I'll let him have it. Well, I certainly cut it close, but they don't call me cut it close Jimmy for nothing. And we got a slingshot. Slingshots are fun because you can load them with ammo. Oops, hold on. With ammo, and yeah, yeet. It's fun. I'd never really use them much in my playthroughs. You can get a bunch of different kind of ammo types, but I don't know how much I'll go for that. Did I not have more bombs? I guess I kept them somewhere. I'll grab the items. I think I have enough stone for a coop now and it's just the money that's going to be a problem man i'm so blessed that tomorrow is also going to be a rainy day 
Well, since we had such a great mining day, I got 48 ore. ore. That was ridiculous. That's, see, that's the difference between a good luck day and a bad luck day. Since we had such a ridiculously good mining day, I think we'll be good for mining for a while, especially because we got to a certain biome there at the very end that I don't want to delve too much deep, too, not much deeper. I find it hard to find the words. I don't want to go much deeper because it's not going to be very efficient with what we have now, so I'm going to wait until we have a bit more resources. Speaking of resources, I'm completely full on items. I also find a, found a red mushroom. Super lucky. Omnigeo, that's pretty rare at the floors I was at. They get more common later on. Christ, though. Go ahead and load all those in. I want stone and copper, and I'm going to make... I can make two more furnaces if I really wanted to, but no. I'll hold back for now. It's getting late. Yeah, I know. To the bottom. Oh, since I reached level, uh, floor 40, now the next mission is to get to the bottom of the mine, which is 120. Don't worry, that won't be for a hot second. Go ahead and load these up, and I'm going to organize the rest of my inventory, and then we can go. I left the doll over there, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I had everything that I want to bring to gunther and clint tomorrow now i did notice that i accidentally used more than 25 Ooh, level 2 mining we can make staircases which is not useful for us at this point in the game but okay got a bit of money from the parsnips that's nice at least 355 that'll be enough to buy more seeds tomorrow because we do need them three days three days three days come on give it to me Clear and sunny. Disgusting. Welcome back to Wellwick's Oracle. If you seek... Very happy again. Okay. Living off the land. Woes from crows. Sounds like you need a scarecrow. Placing a scarecrow on your farm deters crows from a pretty good distance. Make sure to protect your valuable crops. One more thing. Need a bigger backpack? Okay. Yeah. We've been there, done that. <gasps> the potatoes. Ooh, that's going to be a pretty penny. Oh yeah, we definitely need to go shopping for crops. Lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return it ASAP. I'm having a tough time without it. It's 250G for those for whoever finds the thing. Okay. I could probably finish that today. We're going to get a lot of money today. Just realized. So Robin's lost axe is now there. I'm going to turn in the gathering thing, hopefully. We still have the build a coop mission. I'm gonna go ahead and place all this fertilizer down now and I'll be ready when we come back later to finish the job fill that in too there we go I find it really weird that this that stayed fertilized I did not think that would be a thing at all cool well what am I gonna bring then might as well bring a parsnip no, no, I have no reason to, because I don't have a leak. I need a leak, dude. Dandelion, daffodil, horseradish. If I find a leak, I'll know what to do with it. Well, we did just get also the bowl gets auto-watered on rainy days. Unfortunately, it doesn't improve your friendship with your pet. Well, we do have that mission for Robin, so I think since town doesn't really open up until like 9 anyway, I'm gonna go... Cool. Love being blocked off by my own shrubs. I'm going to go and find Robin's Lost Axe, where I happen to know the location of. Because I put a tracker chip in it before she lost it. Alright, we're all the... Oh. Spring onion, baby. I didn't bring my hoe again, did I? We're already all the way at the southern end of the cinder sap forest. And look at that. Found the lost axe, better return it to Robin. Funny thing is, you can just hold an axe above your head at all times now. Just threatening anyone who comes near you. Again, if I could please just find a leak before I leave, that would be wonderful. <sighs> Look at how many foraging items I have. Notice the lack of leak. It's getting frustrating now. Hello, Marnie. I just wanted to say hello. It's not like I can buy anything from you. Nah, 
I guess I don't really. Just saying hello. Ew, it smells. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther, the man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a match for that big rusty key. There's something moving around in there. Spooky, thank you for not telling port teleporting me to the bottom of the screen. Yeesh, that would have been a trip. All right, back in town. Our to-do list for today, we, first thing I'm going to go to Clint and hopefully he'll accept the fact that I found 25 ore, even though I didn't get them. We have to crack open all of these geodes. We're going to turn in a ton of stuff to the museum. Don't worry about that key thing, by the way. It'll naturally come to pass as we progress naturally through the game. Yo, yo, Clint, what's poppin'? My dude. I do not need to shop, although here's the ore prizes. So like, see how many ore we've been grabbing? Imagine that times 75. You can tell everything here is just an absolute, like, it's not worth it. I'll tell you that much. Have we gotten sandstone before? Uh oh, we might not have enough room. Well, that's not good. It's not gonna let me break another one because I don't have enough room. Okay, well, I'll go and turn all the stuff in. Yo, look at that, that actually still worked. I like to inspect in local ores from time to time. Keep track of quality and abundance. Let me take a look at these. Hmm, I see. Thank you, you can keep those ores. They're in excellent quality. And here's your payment. Sweet. Money, money, money. Oh, like I said, this is going to be a good day for money. If I could get back to 2000, I could start upgrading a tool, which I desperately need to do soon before we get too late into the game. I'd like to have my axe upgraded quite a bit by the time we get to summer. Now, what could this be? That's also quite a few items. I'll organize all the items as we get deeper into the game. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I forgot. The ancient seed. Don't worry about giving that up. You're supposed to. Collect those rewards. So since we gave up the ancient seed, we now have an ancient seed recipe for if we find any more in the mines and get an ancient seed and a starfruit seed these are the best seeds in the game i'll tell you that right now i'm not gonna go over summer seeds yet because obviously we'll go over that when the time comes but uh believe me when i say starfruit is the thing to have all right process the rest of these geodes hopefully looks like something new uh, okay yeah you can get that and that's something we've gotten before. So we'll be able to sell the Jago... What? Jagoite? Is, there's no way. It's got to be Jagoite, right? Donate. Oh, I've never donated one of those. Well, hey, we filled up a whole table. Get another reward. Okay. Sure. Oh, yeah. You get a standing geode. Which I believe I can just put anywhere. Can I put it out here? Yeah, I can just put it out here. I don't think that used to be a thing, but it is now. I don't know. As much as I love geodes in real life, gotta say, it's kind of ugly going with everything else on our farm. Like, we have a whole rustic thing going. I, I love the galaxy kind of starish thing it has, but nothing going. Catfish, okay, sure. Catfish is actually a rain exclusive fish, so if we can find one of those today, that would be pretty neat. All right, uh, I am selling all of these potatoes we just got, I think. I see no reason not to. 
spring onions don't sell for anything. I don't even think I'm gonna bother. We do have 2,000 gold again. Ooh, ooh, I think I will upgrade my ax right now. Ancient seeds is only worth 30, Jesus Christ. Oops, well, you know what? No, I do need parsnip seeds actually. I'll grab another, I mean, hey. I got like nothing, I'm gonna grab 15. Potatoes, I'll grab, today's the 11th, so they'll come up on the, oh, they only take six days. Oh, I thought they were a lot less than that. Well, I'll take the potatoes then. I'll probably have way more than I want to actually use, but hey, who cares? All right, we can fill them all in and we don't even have to water them today. Now that's what you love to see. Take these potatoes, fill in all these spots. Oh, actually, that's perfect. Huh. I didn't plan that. Let's go ahead. Man, I... I'm sorry. I really need a leak. Not... I, okay, that sounded like I need to piss. No, I mean I need a leak as in the item. Otherwise, we're kind of just stuck not doing a certain huge part of the game right now. I don't know, maybe I don't need the whole thing, but uh, that's that's all on me, you know, personally. Go take a cave carrot while we can. No, no, I see no reason to do that now. Y'all have no idea what I'm talking about if you've never played the game before. So I'm gonna make some more copper bars and I'm gonna actually go back to Clint's before he closes and I'm gonna use the, oh, we spent money on seeds. I'm dumb. Never mind. Well, never mind. We're not gonna do that today, I suppose. If we could go fishing. Actually, do I have enough money for the new rod? Because that would be another thing to put our money towards. I'm gonna put the... It's so ugly, dude. Like, look at that. It's still, I'm still putting it there. I don't care. Require, oh. Cool. Well, that takes care of all of the ore. Now we have 12 copper bars. Not bad. Not bad at all. So much forging items. I don't even think I have room to put them all in. Barely. Barely. Oh, I do have Robin's Lost Axe. I should return that to her. Maybe we'll find a leak. Ooh, before we go, I'm just gonna grab my handy dandy, nope, handy dandy fishing rod. Bring the ax, so I'm just gonna bring everything with me. Again, I really don't feel the need to not bring all of our items anymore because we have so much inventory space compared to what we used to have. Worm, just some clay. We do need clay though, so I mean, hey. Actually, you know what? I have so many ideas today, I guess. With that clay and all those copper bars, we should have enough for the silo easily. 100 stone, 10 clay, cop 5 copper bar. Yeah. All right. A boy might come back. But in the meantime, yo. You found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with the other one I was using. Thank you. How's the rest of y'all doing? Plan on spending a lot of time with with my telescope this summer. Yeah, as we keep talking to people, they're gonna get a little bit repetitive. Stay inside if you wanna keep warm. I do like that they have rain-specific dialogue. So close to 2000. But hey, the silo is just as meaningful an endeavor, I suppose, so. I'm gonna get the ingredients for that and I'm gonna go to her Get the silo started, and then we're going to go fishing, I suppose, for the rest of the day. I am short two clay, but I can fix that real quick with a lot of energy. I hope I can fix that real quick with a lot of energy. So let me tell you something. Clay is supposedly about like a 5% chance to pop out. There's one. Five or 10, I really don't mo remember. But if you're ever short on clay, remember this cool trick. Obviously it'll work a lot better if you have your hoe upgraded. Plus having some farming experience won't hurt either because 
We won't use as much energy. I'm, geez, I'm almost halfway down now. There we go. Easy as that. Please still be open. I, I expect them to close at five. I expect everything to close the moment I want to go in. You can check store hours, by the way. Like you can just, uh, nine to five. Oh. Thank you. Bada boom, bada bing. I do recommend that this is the first thing that you build, by the way. Uh, it's important. I, there just happens to be, oh man, not enough room to put it over there. Happens to be a cozy little corner, little nook over there to put it in. So that's where I'm gonna put it. I really can think of no other reason to have that. Uh, did I talk to you normally? I guess I did, because you don't want to talk to me. With that being done, if I remember right, catfish are in the river. And as it's still raining, we can catch them. This is a nice comfy spot. Let's fish. Okay, well, good start. Well, guess who didn't realize it? Oh, I'm a fisherman. This boy's got a chub. Guess who didn't realize that this all counts as a lake? I started fishing up some fish and I'm like, hmm, this is weird. I don't remember these being some river fish. Uh, no, if we want to, like, so the important thing here is it's raining. And I definitely re recommend fishing in the river when it's raining. So I guess that you have to specifically be in, like, the town loading zone. Otherwise, it does not count. The mountain is, in, uh, is a lake. And I didn't remember that. So, there you go. Well, it's not a catfish, but I do need that. Bream, well, not a catfish, but I do need that. Well, no catfish, but I did get two shad, which is good because those are exclusive to the rain and then you do need them. Once again, for the community center. I'm starting to think that maybe catfish was one of the fish that was in a specific spot that you have to catch it in. Because there's a few fish that need to not only be caught in, like, specifically a river, but it has to be a section of the river. There's lake fish that are definitely like that. And there's some really rare fish that have to be, you have to be standing on a specific square on a specific day with a specific weather. That's a lot of good fish. So what can I get rid of here? Get rid of the gold bullhead. I need, ugh, do I need the chub? I don't know if I need the chub. It's common anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. I need one of the chads. I'll keep the normal one. I can get rid of all of the gold star bream and I'll get rid of one regular bream and that should net us a little bit of money. Yeah, so I, I don't know if this is true or not, but I believe the bite rate is a little bit better. The coal doesn't belong that there in the rain. Got a lot done though, at the very least. Fortunately, I wasn't able to do the uh, catfish thing. And it says I have two days, it doesn't matter because if it's not raining, you cannot catch a catfish. Well, I know this is the first episode that we've only had a two day episode, but I think we got a lot done in these two days. It felt very eventful. So I think I'm gonna see you tomorrow. See you all then, and good night. Oh, jeez.